Hello, everyone, and welcome to Porsche Power Cup Asia 2021. I'm Ivy, your host for the season, and today we're in Shanghai International Circuit. After a year-long hiatus, the Porsche Carrera Cup Asia is finally back with new drivers, new teams, a new calendar, and a new car. We also have a new driver category, the M Class, which will sit alongside overall and Pro M, with its own point table, trophies, and the podiums. On top of all that, our drivers will compete on two new Chinese racetrack this season. Ningbo International Circuit and Zhuzhou International Circuit, with 19 top drivers and three new categories and six of Asia's best circuits, this season promises to be the most exciting cup ever. Porsche Carrera Cup Asia 2021 season begins today. Hello, 大家好，欢迎来到亚洲保时捷卡雷拉杯二零二一赛季。我是本赛季的主持人 Ivy， 今天在上海国际赛车场为您报道。经过了一年多的漫长等待，亚洲保时捷卡雷拉杯终于回来了。这次的回归不仅带来了新的赛力、新的车队、新的车手，还有一部全新的赛车。我们还将拥有一个新的车手组别——业余车手组。它与原有的专业组和奢侈组一样，将拥有自己独立的积分榜、颁奖台和奖杯。除此之外呢，我们的车手今年还将征战两条新的中国赛道。宁波国际赛场和株洲国际赛场，至此十九位顶尖车手，三个新的组别，六条亚洲顶尖赛道已经全部集结完毕，为亚洲保时捷卡雷拉杯二零二一赛季开启最激动人心的赛季征程。那么，在我们的比赛正式开始之前，让我们先来观赏一下精彩的短片吧！不要走开，我们马上回来。C C 二零二一 ，We are back， 我们回来了。C C C A 2021， 我来了，我来了 ，We are here。Welcome to Porsche Carrera Cup Asia。Well, hello everybody. From the commentary booth, my name is John Heindorf, and it's a pleasure to be here as we count down to the start of a brand new 2021 Porsche Carrera Cup Asia season. And as Ivy mentioned, lots of things have changed. One thing that hasn't is the amount of excitement and entertainment we can promise you across the season. The cars are brand new. The 992 type. Porsche GT3 Cup cars. They are bigger, badder, and faster. And when we take a look at the qualifying times in a little time,、uh, we'll tell you a little bit more about that. But there's some very important people who've made all of this happen, and they're down on the grid now with Ivy. First race of the season is about to start. Let's hear a few words from Vice President of Marketing at the Porsche China, Mr. Daniel Schmollinger. And the head of Porsche Motorsport Asia Pacific, Mr. Alexander Jibo. Hello. 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 And、uh, Daniel, this is a big return for you. So I'm wondering what is it you miss most about the Porsche Carrera Cup Asia? Well, we have been waiting for this moment since、um, 16 months, and we are all very excited. So we missed、um, the cars, the drivers, the team spirit, and basically everything. And、um, we are so excited to be back. And、um, I can't wait、um, that the race starts in a few minutes. Okay, thank you, thank you, Dennis, and、uh, Alex. So、uh, this is a new Porsche 911 GT3 Cup. What can you tell us about this sport car? Well,、uh, the first thing I can tell you is、uh, we are very proud to have this new 911 GT3 Cup、uh, on the, on the market. We are one of the five market in the world to have、uh, to have this car.、Uh, it's based on the 911 GT3 road car, the AJ generation of for iconic 911. So、uh, we are very much looking forward to to release this new car. It's、uh, it's a totally new car and、uh, with a lot of、uh, more performance. And、I'm, I believe we will see it、uh, today during the first race. As Daniel said, we are very very much excited to restart finally after this 16 months、uh, break. And、uh, yeah, can't wait to start. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Alex. And、uh, thank you very much for the interview. Thank you. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Back to you, commentator.
Well, the good news is that I don't think we're going to have any issues with weather today. Michelin have brought uh, wet weather tyres, and should we require them, there are three sets available for each of the 18 992 Carrera Cup cars uh, that are on the grid. Uh, but it's a very pleasant day indeed as we head towards uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon here at the Shanghai International Circuit. Cars just coming round from their out lap. There will be a single formation lap before we start this first round of the championship. What a track this is. 29 degrees in the air, 34, which is right in the middle of the operating temperature for the Michelin N3 racing slicks. 10% chance of rain, but I think we can forget that for this first race at least. We've got another race tomorrow as well. Uh, Michelin providing the tyres as ever, and that is a perfect area for those N3. 18-inch both ends racing slick. That is a difference from the road cars, of course, because the new 8th generation uh, 911s have 21s on the, the, the back and 20s on the front first time. Shanghai then opened in 2004, uh, just over 3.3 miles along. Action areas at the first couple of corners, and then, of course, that long back straight three quarters of a mile down into the outbreaking area, out of the carousel at turn 13. Phenomenal run before you break hard into 15. Then that little kink at 16 back onto the front straight as well. 132.2, Michael Schumacher, that's a long time ago now. More appropriate here in terms of looking at the lap times is the GT3, yes I said GT3 lap record, uh, that is a 205.4 going back to 2018 with an Audi R8 and in practice we were doing 206.6s so barely a second or so slower than that. That's how quick these new 4 litre 510 horsepower flat 6 engine cars are and for all the changes and there are some aero changes as well with a uh, multi-adjustable rear wing, 11 different settings on that swan neck rear wing. The flat six engine of four litres has been uh, been retained. Of course it has. And the man who was quickest with a 2.06.656 for Team Jebson on the front row for the number 20, Daniel Liu. Daniel, it was very strong uh, qualifying season. So what is your, your strategy for the first race of this new season? Yeah, um, it's as we saw in qualifying, it was very tight. Um, the top six is all very tight. Uh, and um, first race, I mean, the main priority is always to finish the race. Uh, and uh, definitely very excited to be here after finally over a year of no racing. So, um, yeah, just excited to get started. Uh, the weekend just being many races ahead. And good luck. Thank you. Back to you, commentator. So Daniel sits in the right place for Team Jebson and he is a, an experienced driver who has come up with a, a rather traditional motorsport career. Started back in 2015 in Rotnax Max uh, in the China Junior category. Was selected as the youngest uh, Porsche young driver, junior driver in Asia. Been outside of the Porsche family as well and done some GT racing, putting all of that good experience to use in nicking away pole position uh, by about a tenth and a half from Andre Couto for Toro Racing, uh, who is in second place uh, outside of the grid at number seven. Uh, yes, that Andre Couto, 44 now, Andre, the Portuguese. Also a bit of a Macau specialist. So Daniel Liu then will start on pole position in the white and blue number 20 team Jebson car. Getting away from the line here. It's a reasonable run down to that first corner that tightens and drops away through two and tightens again through three. Serpentine first part of the circuit. I'm sure that the... Nerves are just jangling a little bit. Andre Couto then in the seven for Toro. Two Toro cars here. Andres has got the red mirrors. He'll be on the front row. 
gets that inside run down to the first corner. Former GT300 champion, Andre, of course, for Nissan back in the days, won the 1,000 Ks at Suzuka as well. Always seem to find a drive in touring cars or single-seaters at Macau. Team Star Chase is in third position. Now, that is one of the teams that uh, is or one of the cars of four cars that are run by absolute racing in Gormata over in Europe at the moment uh, with Andrew Harry Anto staying over till Le Mans Ingo told me recently so that's a uh, third spot then for Kwai Yu for team Star Chase Kangling in the fourth spot is the Mai Dong racing car that car is on the inside as well then so the bright orange is the Toro racing car now here's the Porsche holding number 86 machine for Yuki red white and black big numbers on the front of the cars which is very helpful for commentators we're still barely two tenths of a second away by the way from the pool time uh, at the moment so Jebson Toro Racing Team Star Chase and Maidong Racing then the Porsche Holding and BD Group for Leo Yi in the silver and almost a crossword coloured car isn't it in sixth position he was just a little bit further away so the first five separated by two tenths of a second and then a whole tenth back to Leo Yi. Bourgeois is in seventh position in the 88 Ivory Bay Capital car. It's the number 88. Pretty much all white, that car. Fund manager enjoys his racing. Has done Carrera Cup Asia for three seasons. Did a bit of Blanc Palm GT World Challenge as well in 2019. Started off in karting at VW Cup. Bi Hang 68 for, again, My Dog Racing. Silver, blue, and the blue mirrors are on that car. He was only a second away. And he's the Pro-Am pole sitter. Three different classes here this year. Second in Pro-Am is uh, Zibian that's another one of the absolute racing cars resplendent in its pretty standard GT silver all of the cars are supplied in that colour from Visac and Porsche Motorsports outside of row 5 is the third pro-am driver team Shanghai and that's Xinlong Bao in the number 6 car and again, these Pro-Am drivers very, very closely matched as we're about to get underway for the formation lap. Just one qualifying session earlier on today and the first grid that we're seeing now set by the fastest lap, second grid tomorrow second fastest lap and we'll take you through all of that when we restart tomorrow temperature rising getting up towards 30 degrees celsius green flag for the first of the 2021 season it's been a long time 16 months since Porsche Carrera Cup Nation were on the track and now the flat six engines grace this region again as we I've got a little tingle here. I have a little tingle. As the cars head off onto their formation or sighting lap. Wonderful noise from those flat six four litre motors. 510 horsepower and the new for 2021 992 Cup car. All of these drivers will have been getting themselves sorted for quite some time. There's been a few days testing as well. So it's Daniel Lee who leads out from Andre Couto. Watch him at the start in the number seven. Then Kwai Yu, Kang Ling on row two. Yu Kui and 
Leo Yi on row three. Bo Yuan and Bi Huang Zhu on row four. That's the first of the pro arm category. That best lap 106.6, by the way, by our Paul Sitters. Best of the arm drivers, by the way, in 15th position, Eric Kwong in the 23 Kitty World Racing Porsche. And he was a decent margin, some seven tenths quicker than second. Eric Kwong in the 23 car, excuse me, Jackie Wu in the 69 car, the Shanghai racing machine. Henry Kwong and Jali in the Silver Rocket car, very close together in third and fourth in the arm category. On the warm-up lap now and heading out of the carousel down that three-quarters of a mile long back straight. Oh, seeing these cars flat out down there, fantastic. Been very spectacular in practice and qualifying. Well remember being here for the WEC, watching the prototypes going down that back straight at ridiculous miles an hour. These cars are very quick indeed debuted in the Porsche Carrera Cup North America at Sebring in March and they were right on GT did all the times and that's pretty much what we're seeing here as well at Shanghai with that long-standing GT3 lap record 205.4 and we were well under a second and a half away from that in qualifying with a brand new car with drivers still getting used to it and teams still getting used to them as well Celebrating 20 years of Porsche as an automotive supplier in China and 18 years of the Asian Carrera Cup. It's back to what Porsche do best, racing with the 911 in 2021. The 2021 Porsche Carrera Cup Asia season about to get underway as the cars line up for a standing start, a clutch start. So the pressure on Daniel Liu in the Team Jepson racing machine on the outside of the circuit, driver's right. He'll have the long run down to the first corner with Andre Couto alongside him for Toro Racing in the number seven. Then Kwai Liu, Kang Ling, Yuki and Leo Yi, your top three rows. Red lights are on, and the 2021 season is underway. Little bit of a hesitant start at the back there. But the Paul Sitter comes straight across the block to the inside. Kuto had no choice there but to give way. Down into the first corner for the first lap. The bright orange of Team Star Chase and Kwalyu in third position, but it's Paul Sitter, Daniel Liu with about a couple of cars lengths on the field as they head out down the run from four to the kink at five and then downhill braking for turn number six overtaking spot here if you're brave and somebody is further back that is the battle further down in the midfield and that looked very much like Lee Chow and it was uh, Yu Chi in the 86 car that was trying to make the move as they head off round the first of the laps. 30 minutes plus a lap or the leaders just heading now down another one of these long straights between 10 and 11. Really let the 911s stretch their legs here everybody being fairly sensible early on which is the first race of the season you might have thought with 16 months away that it might have been a little more brains out but they've done very well through the heat haze and already an issue for the red white and blue and that car pulled up on the far side of the circuit. Now, we're going to have to see the intervention of the safety car. That's Xinlong Bao 
who was pulled up. And he'll be disappointed about that. Qualified in third in Pro Am. As the leaders come across the line for the first time, Daniel Liu leads it from Andre Couto in second position. The battle is on for third. That bright orange car is the team star chase number 99, Carl Yu. Kang Ling right in behind in the blue and silver car. Oh, fantastic move by Liu Yi there. Trying to look down the inside. He's on the wrong side for turn three and four, though, and that's given Kuai Yu an opportunity to pull away. Now, were there yellow flags there? Is that why he backed out of it? Because we did have the stranded car of Xing Long Bao, the number six from Team Shanghai. Safety car has been deployed. Well, Daniel Liu is uh, going to be very disappointed at that because he pulled out a decent lead at the line, something over a second. So we've had just about one racing lap. Take a breath, reset. So all that hard work from the starting line and the clutch start means nothing. And we'll see the safety car as it's scrambled from the pit lane. Didn't see any coming together for Xin Long Bao in that number six, the red, white and blue. He is out of the car, very handily has put his hazard flashes on. That's just coming out of on the outside of turn three, four area of the track there. So he made it a couple of corners, but that's about all I'm afraid. start finish line so all that hard work getting some heat into the Michelin tyres Porsche Taycan is our safety car for the season Porsche's first foray into all electric motoring and very impressive it is as well just fortunate to do some fast laps around Daytona International on the road circuit uh, what, a couple of years ago now back in 2020 in a very nice gentian blue Taycan turbo obviously it doesn't have a turbo but that's the model designation has the lowest centre of gravity and the lowest drag coefficient CD of any Porsche ever built that Taycan wheel drive of course and sitting in behind at the moment then our Paul sitter Daniel Lowe for team Jepson Daniel's been right up at the sharp end all the way through this week and it's a local race for Daniel lives in the Shanghai area with no Carrera Cup last year he did a bit of the China Endurance Championship. We've got a couple of podia actually, got a win and a third. Just keeping himself sharp, sharp. Best finish in this category. Fourth overall in 2019. And he got a great start. An absolutely fabulous start. Immediately pulled to his right to cover Andre Kuto in the other light coloured car, the Toro Racing Machine. Team Star Chase number 99, Kwai Lu, was immediately under threat. Now, let's see if I can pick out what happened to Jin Long Bao further back. He didn't get very much further. Was he already going slow? 
by this time. Yes, he was. So he, that was an incident, I think, at the first corner. Now, I wonder if there's been some damage to the right-hand side of Jin Ba's machine. That's the team Shanghai car. He qualified third in Pro-Am. We couldn't see the far side of the car. And I wonder if there's been side-by-side -side contact. And that's what caused the issues for that car and why it pulled up so quickly but he was clearly struggling right at the very beginning no laps added under the safety car a 10 lap race or 30 minutes plus a lap whatever comes quickest the tear card has used its not inconsiderable acceleration prowess to disappear back into the pit lane so the field is back under control of the leader and former pole sitter Daniel Liu Great work by the safety crews to get Jin Long Bao's car out of the way at turn three. So we'll go back green across the line. Single file restart. Now, Andre Kuto knows how good this man is from a standing start. Oh, there was a bit of start and stopping there. Just saw the front end of Kuto's car go down. He came off the gas at exactly the wrong time coming out of turn 16. And that's allowed the leader to make a little bit of a run. There's a cracking battle going on. For fifth position, I think Bourgeois down the inside of Biang Xu for a seventh and eighth position. Further back, the two silver cars having a cracking, cracking run. And those are the pro am leaders as well, of course. It's a great restart from Daniel Liu. Daniel Liu's gone. Kuto with nothing for him. And again, Kua Yu is the man under pressure. Ah, the leader locked up there. Round the outside for third position. I'm not sure that's going to work from Kang Ling in the number 12 car. And we're going to get three wide heading down the hill and through. Finally goes Kang Ling into third position. Kang Ling then for Mai Dong Racing takes over and following through. That was uh, Yi Leo, uh, Leo Yi, excuse me, in the 22 car. Another one of the base colours that are silver underneath leaders are closer together though after that little mistake by Daniel Andre right with him now as he goes into on the far side of the circuit through the chicane at 11 and 12 and into the long right handed parabolica at 13 that's banked on the exit they'll go all the way at the edge and over the edge for the leader track limits there he might get a warning more importantly he might have to cede first position because he didn't get a great exit from 13. Daniel Liu now defending. Kuto goes all the way around the outside. He's got his nose ahead at the breaking area of 14. He's going to try and go the long way around. Big slide by both of them. Kuto is toughing it out and takes the lead. Magnificent stuff of Porsche Carrera Cup Asia. Round one, Shanghai International Circuit. Brilliant stuff from Kuto. The Kuto, the re veteran Andre Kuto, has taken the lead. And at the end of the fourth lap, then it's Toro Racing's Andre Kuto that leads. Daniel Liu back in second place, but immediately on the attack. Oh, I wonder if it's just getting a bit warm for the Michelin tyres. There was a big slide there. Too much right foot from Kuto. No traction control in these Porsche Cup cars it's very much an analog experience these cars really requiring some driving often said if you can drive a Carrera Cup car well you can pretty much drive ev everything else Kuko sliding again as he comes through turn six and on the run down the hill to seven and eight that lovely serpentine sweeping S's Third place, Kang Ling is the silver number 12 with the blue markings on it. And for me, he's closing in on the leaders. We're going to have a three-way battle, you know. We're definitely going to have a three-way battle. Just a little gap back to fourth place, Leo Yi. He started in sixth, so he's done really well for the BT group. Kuto 
with a bit of breathing space. Scene of the crime, last time around, the pass for the lead really started with Daniel Liu going wide at 13, having to lift, I think, a tiny bit or just lost traction as he'd gone right over the kerbs. And that was all Kuto needed. Knew he had a better run down that three quarter of a mile back straight, around about 1,250 meters. Kuto trying not to look in the mirrors. Oh, big slide by Kuto coming out of 16. Got on the power nice and early, but he spun up the rear Michelins, and that's the chance for Daniel Liu. They're going down the pit wall. Kang Ling goes to the left-hand side of the track, and now so does Daniel Liu, sweeps around. Now he'll get the inside, of course, for the corners. It's a big drop here, downhill. So you've got to keep the car balanced. Kang Ling bets on Kuto. And he's gone wide at turn three. That's going to cost him some time. Leo Yi right in there in the 22 car in fourth position. As you were, but my goodness, that was close racing. Daniel Leo flashing the headlights. That gives him an extra 20 horsepower, of course. No, it doesn't. He's still only got the 510 that Andre Kuto has as well from the flat six engine. Some tyre debris, or some debris at least, on the track there just off the racing line coming out of six now Jin Long Bao didn't get that far so I'm sure that wasn't from him there may have been a little more shenanigans back down through the field as far as Pro-Am is concerned it's uh, Ko Yuan and Bi Huang Zhu battling in 7th and 8th who started but that's a change because Bihan Yu Zhu started on full position there Eric Kwong leads the arm category from Henry Kwong and Jackie Wu Li Chao has dropped back as well in the number 9 Porsche Beijing car he's one of the pro arm runners and we know that Bao Xin Long Scored in 18th at the moment, won't go any further. So Kuto, Lu, Ling, little gap back to uh, Leo Yi, then Yukui and Kryu. That's your top six, and they are all pro category cars. a wee bit of a gap back to the 99 that bright orange team star chase defending champions of course although no championship last year do we get the thought that Kuto's doing just enough to stay ahead I'm not sure I think they're all pushing pretty hard you know six of the ten laps this is lap six so we're at exactly half distance and we're about halfway through the time as well, just coming up on 15 minutes race time. That intervention of the Taycan safety car might push us towards the 30 minutes plus one lap limit that we have. Very busy weekend here with Chinese touring and the new GT Super Sprint Series. second round of the championship tomorrow a wee bit earlier what a way to start live motorsport weekend it's the fifth Carrera Cup for the new 992s Carrera Cup North America new for 2021 kicked it all off already had rounds for Benelux and Deutschland at Spa last weekend was great by the way flat six nine nine twos round spa yes two different championships both with 30 cars now Asia as well with the 992 Porsche Motorsport have been exceedingly busy in the last quarter of last year with the first of this building these new cup cars it was six tenths at the line it's nothing like that now is it as Kuto comes back around to complete lap number six of ten. 
Toro Racing. Been there, done that, seen it. Designed the T-shirt and probably marketed it to uh, Andrew Akuto. What a racing career he has had. Just drifts wide in turn one and drags it back foot. The downhill turn two. But really not giving any opportunity. It looks close, doesn't it? With Daniel Liu in second place. But Liu is that in that horrible spot because he's having to try and attack the leader. He's on the flasher again. But Kang Ling in the GT Silver and Metallic Blue Porsche in third position. Just sitting in there. Oh, now gets a bit of a run, actually. So the third-place driver, Kang Ling. Down through the S's. Is there an opportunity here? It's getting warmer all the time, right in the middle of the day here at Shanghai. Right to the edge of the track for Andre Kuto. He heads down to turn 11 for the seventh time. And for a, a moment, and for the first time in a wee while, Kuto has got a bit of breathing space on the back straight. Top five have broken away from Kualu. Kualu in the background, easily spotted in that bright orange number 99. That are weaving around in the breaking area at turn 14 after that long back straight. And it's all still as you were. Leo Yi, the man under pressure at the moment. Yukui is in the 86th, the fifth, and he's just seen the top three get away. That's the podium ahead. It's the battle for fourth and fifth, right up against the pit wall there. Before they swing over to the left-hand side of the track. And Yukui in the number 86, BD group car, is up the inside. I think he's got fourth here. He was right up the inside at turn two. And as he comes through, he might have made that position. Yes, he has. The silver and black, almost the crossword colours on that car, ahead of the number 86, red, white and black car. That's a change of position. So Leo Yi, back to fifth, up to fifth, uh, up, back to fifth and up to fourth for Yu Kui. That was very tight against the pit wall there. Beautifully judged manoeuvre from the driver of the number 86. Yu Kui from Team Porsche, Paulding. Been in this championship since 2016. Formula Grand Prix champion, two years running, or two years in 2010 and 2012 before he tried a bit of touring car championship here in China. Pretty decent on the streets of Macau as well. He's the best second overall there in the Chinese Racing Cup. So the wide open spaces here will feel like paradise to the new fourth place driver, Yu Kui. Top three, absolutely together. Gonna get the full 10 laps here. Very much a sprint race, this one of the shorter Carrera Cup race distances. Just 10 laps for 30 minutes. <laughs> I love Daniel Liu. You know, you can't fault his enthusiasm for our pool sitter. He's flashed at least 10 times a lap, Andre Kuto. Three wide through turn two, and there's the inevitable contact, and Kuto goes round, hit by Daniel Liu in second position. The beneficiary there, Kang Ling, who's gone through into the lead. Now Kuto, can he get the flat six restarted? Never easy to restart a hot racing engine. More at the point, has he got damage? The 
And now Leo Yi is battling with Daniel Liu, but that's left Kang Ling in that silver and blue car. Started in fourth position for My Dong Racing. And he has a healthy lead after that coming together. Racing incident at turn one. Huge amount of experience, the man from Shanghai. Big football fan as well. Started in karting back in 2005. He's come up through GP3, French F4, European Formula 3 and Formula Renault. Before jumping into the China GT Championship three or four years ago. And he was the Pro-Am champion in Asian Le Mans Series in LMP2 in 2019. So turn one, Kuto, I think, just missed his braking slightly and drifts wide, takes the wider line. Lou thinks, thanks very much, I'll have a look. But as Kuto's coming back, Lou is the meat in the sandwich. As Ling goes through... Kuto turns around. There was definite contact there between Lou and Kuto. We'll leave that for the stewards to sort out. But at the line, it's a big lead. A big lead for Kang Ling. As he goes through, the battle is now on for the podium positions. You cure in second place, Leo Yi in third, Daniel Liu, remember who started on pole position, she would have had high hopes here in the white car at the moment off the podium. still running Just trying to pick him up lost an inordinate amount of time last lap board being shown this time around that will be a welcome sight for Kang Ling then the Meidong racing silver and blue car seven seconds I think he's on his last lap actually my apologies UK in second Leo Yi in third I don't think Daniel Liu is close enough to make the difference coming towards the line no, that was the last lap board out. It just went out very early. I thought he was showing it in the back of the field there. You know, you would think after all my time in motor racing, I could count to 10. So another three and a third miles for the leader. Canley. Comfortable. I would say. It was boiling up, wasn't it, at the front between Kang Ling, Daniel Liu and Andrea Kuto. Shame we didn't get to see that play out completely. Lap. Keep it together. Looks like Daniel Liu is dropping away and he's making mistakes. He's gone wide again. He's pushing too hard. I think he's annoyed with himself, if I'm honest. 
then a really good start from the grid great restart as well and one little mistake coming out of turn 13 that halfway through the race where the leader is right now got onto the astral turf that gave andre kuto the opportunity to go through and that's why he was fighting so hard to regain the lead last quarter of the lap then into the final left-hander my Tom racing and the number number 12 will take it the first round of the 2021 Porsche Carrera Cup Asia goes to Canling by a healthy 2.3 seconds. You created seconds for Team Porsche Holdings. And Leo Yi, another three quarters of a second back for the BD Group in third. The man who will be disappointed, Paul Sitter Daniel Liu, in fourth. Bi Hang Su wins Pro Am. That's a double for Maidong Racing. And in the AM category, the triple six of you, excuse me, in the AM category, the 23 of Eric Kwong for Kitty World Racing takes it from Jackie Wu in second place. Phew wee! Well, that was an impressive run two top steps for Mai Dong Racing Kang Ling the man who benefited got himself up into third and then made that count from there onwards back to the pits but not if you're the winner time to catch the breath it's a long way back if you first man off the podium and I think Daniel Liu will be ruining that mistake that cost him the lead and ultimately left him battling with Kuto measured drive really wasn't it by the number 12 Kang Ling who was there Debris at turn 15 there that he's just run over he was there he was pressuring we had three wide that was the moment of the race really wasn't it after that mistake by Daniel Liu that seeded first position albeit what three or four corners later before Andre Kuta got in the lead but the moment of the race the top three together turn one into turn two contact between Kuto and Liu and our first winner of the 2021 season, Kang Ling then pulls up for My Dog Racing. He will be very happy indeed. Second for the number 22. It's another absolute racing run car, that 22. Leo Yi. Third place for Leo, the 86. The Porsche holding car for Yukui. But Mai Dong take top step of the pro podium in both Pro and Pro Am. With Kitty World Racing taking the Am top step. Well, that's Porsche. Carrera Cup Asia race one. We'll do it all again tomorrow, of course. Podium to come. Already the GT Sprint Cup cars lining up.
Well, that's a great way to kick the season off, isn't it? Ten laps of action here at Shanghai. In the sunshine at Shanghai International Circuit, then we have had our first round of two this weekend, Porsche Carrera Cup Asia 2021. And the competition debut in this part of the world for the new 992 Cup car. Very, very quick times. And the GT3s that are going out shortly, there'll be plenty in that field. He'll struggle to meet the pace that we saw at the front of the Carrera Cup Asia failed. So three podium ceremonies to come. And for this first round, we'll take the overall winners first. Let's... Uh, Let's just remind you of the result at the front end of the field taken by Kang Ling from Meidong Racing by over a couple of seconds at the end of the race. The number 86 of Yuki was second for PT Group and third, Leo Yi, uh, number 86 Porsche Holding, sorry, and third, Leo Yi for BD Group, run by Absolute, who are based at this circuit. Well done, Ingo and the rest of the team. Well, Ingo will be up early in Europe watching this, I'm fairly certain. As far as the Pro-Am category is concerned, Bi Hang Zhu in the 68 Maidong Racing makes it a delightful double for that team. Uh, in second... In Pro Am, the 66 of Toro Racing, and in third, the Absolute Racing driver, the number three of uh, Zipian, and in the Am category, it was 23 Eric Kwong from Kitty World Racing, from the 91 of Henry Kwong, Silver Rocket, who made up a place from his starting, and Jackie Wu. Triple Ace Racing, the 69, in third position. Time for a little bit of celebration for Mai Dong with those two victories, but not too much. They've got to reprep the cars for an even earlier start tomorrow morning here at Shanghai. Check your local time zones for when we're on air. Just waiting for the podium ceremonies to get underway. So Alexandre Gibault there from Porsche Motorsport Asia. What a great job they've done in getting all of this together after the long yellow, as we've been calling it in motorsport in this part of the world. 
Kang Ling, part of the Porsche Carrera Cup Asia talent pool for drivers uh, under 26. There's uh, help for them, both logistically and financially. And the opportunity for them to start a career with a great manufacturer, very much like the Porsche Junior scheme in other parts of the world. End of the race for the drivers. They can celebrate, but for the technicians, still plenty to do. Get the data download, make sure everything is submitted on time. These cars are very sophisticated nowadays and have to be checked not just physically but electronically at the end of the race, which is why we always say all results provisional until after post-race scrutineering or post-race tech. Just taking a wee while for the guys to find their way up to the podium here at Shanghai International. data either that or he's putting a playlist in it for the next race I'm not sure which one it is to be honest now have we got some drivers to start the celebrations and the formalities properly at the end of our first race Babendum the Michelin man over a hundred years old looks good to sneak for his age I think he's lost a bit of weight during the winter if I'm honest looks sharp babe so just waiting for the overall winners first of all. Drivers are appearing. Kang Ling with the fastest lap of the race as well. 2.083, so a couple of seconds away from qualifying pace, but a well, second and a half, I suppose. That could go down to the heat of the day, right in the middle of the day here. So the podium for the overall sees in third place BD Group's Leo Yi <laughs> Porsche Holdings Yi in second and our first winner of 2021 in the Porsche Carrera Cup Asia Kang Ling from My Dong Racing representative from the team there as well set of trophies going out. Tight schedule, already cars going out. We can link up with Ivory on the podium now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
And now let's take a group photo together. Thank you, thank you very much, and congratulations to our drivers. And now it's the shopping time. Oh dear, those race seats have got to be used tomorrow. They're going to be smelly. I just think it's an awful waste of the drink as well, to be fair. My Dong will be happy, weren't they? My Dong Racing. Top step for Pro and the Pro Am podium as well. I like the way Kang Ling drove there. No the wonder he's so happy. Took his opportunity when it pre presented itself. Opportunist manoeuvre at turns one and two. Kept out of the way, right down the inside. Not the preferred line there because it is so much Next tighter. Next, let's invite the winners of round one of a Porsche Carrera Cup Asia 2021 in Shanghai for the pro M class. Let's welcome on third place, car number three, Bian Yu from Absolute, Absolute Racing. And the second place, car number 66, Min Hong from Toro Racing. And the winner is car number 68, Zhou, Min, Zhou Bi Huang from Maidong Racing. Now we're glad to invite Director of Motorsport of Michelin Asia Pacific, Mr. Ben Ma, to present the third place trophy. Now we're glad to invite head of a Porsche Motorsport Asia Pacific, Mr. Alexander Jibo, to present the second place trophy. Now we're glad to invite Vice President Martin of a Porsche China, Mr. Daniel Schmollinger, to present the winner trophy. Now let's take a photo picture together. Thank you, thank you very much. And now is the champagne time. Congratulations to our drivers. For the shocking waste of good drink. The only time I've been on a podium at a Formula One track was at the for my driving, there's <laughs> been plenty of times doing the presentations, was at the Circuit of the Americas after the 24 hour race. And I drank the champagne, I have to say. I thought I might not get this chance again. Just looking through the regs, actually. International C, FI International C is what you need for this. So that's, uh, means my license is uh, good enough for this. Wherever you are around the world, if you're thinking of having a go, some great tracks. And not all the obvious ones either uh, in this part of the world. Obviously, I know it's uh, not quite back to normal yet, but if you're planning for 2021, was uh, 2021 and beyond might be Next, worth having a look at Porsche Carrera Cup. Let's go to the AM category now with Ivan. Porsche Carrera Cup Asia 2021 in Shanghai for the M class. Let's welcome the third place car number 91, Henry Kong from Triple S Racing. On second place, car number 96, 
Jackie Wu from Shanghai Pudong and Y Gao Chao 69 Racing. And the winner is car number 23, Eric Hong from Candy World Racing. Now we're glad to invite the directly, director motorsport of Michelin Asia Pacific, Mr. Memba, to present the third place trophy. Now we're glad to invite head of Porsche Motorsport Asia Pacific, Mr. Alexander Jibo, to present the second place trophy. And now we're glad to invite Vice President Martin of Port China, Mr. Daniel Schmollinger, to present the winner trophy. Now let's take a group photo together. Thank you very much for our, to our presenter and congratulations to our drivers. Now it's time for champagne. So the third of three podiums for the arms, but not the final action of the weekend by some way. Congratulations to My Dong Racing Kang Ling taking our first victory in the pro category in pro arm Zubi Huang and to Eric Huang in the um, category. They'll be back doing it all again tomorrow. Underway just a, a wee bit earlier than today. 11.15 Shanghai time. That's GMT plus eight. I'll leave you to do the arithmetic yourself on that. So 11.15 Shanghai time. That's GMT plus eight, wherever you are around the world. Hope you've enjoyed our first look at the Carrera Cup Asia for 2021 and the first opportunity to see and hear the new 992 GT3 Cup cars in this part of the world. Hope you'll agree that we've kicked off the season with some smashing racing in every sense of the word, which has uh, left Andre Couto and Daniel Liu wanting, I'm sure, to get a bit of redemption in the Sunday race. I'll give you all of the details of how they've qualified and where they'll line up for race two when we come on the air tomorrow. Been a great uh, opening to the season. My thanks to everybody here at the circuit and further afield who've made this global broadcast possible. I'm John Hindorf. Enjoy your motorsport weekend. Back tomorrow, 11.15 Shanghai time. That's GMT plus eight. And we'll do it all over again for another 10 laps or 30 minutes of Porsche Carrera Cup Asia. Sunday is round two. See you then. Bye-bye.